name is Ursula Quentin Lai. I'm a fertility specialist at the Danish Fertility Clinic in Copenhagen. I want to inform you about donor semen. It is important for you to know that we buy all our donor semen at a certified sperm bank here in Copenhagen. This means that it is the sperm bank that is responsible for selection and monitoring of the donors. All sperm donors have been through a medical investigation and they have also had an interview with a geneticist to find out whether there could be any hereditary diseases in the donor's family up to three generations back. All donors are regularly investigated for infectious diseases like HIV, hepatitis, syphilis, chlamydia and gonorrhea. They also have a normal chromosome test. It is important for you to know that a normal chromosome test is no guarantee that you will have a healthy child without any hereditary disease or any malformations. Some hereditary diseases you only get if you have the gene from both the mother and the father, and these diseases can skip several generations. Therefore, it's important for you to know that if there is any suspicion about hereditary diseases in your child, you have to inform either the fertility clinic or the sperm bank directly. The sperm bank then has to investigate the donor to find out whether the disease of the child has anything to do with the donor. In case they find that the donor has a hereditable disease, the fertility clinic has to inform all women who became pregnant and have a child with the donor about this finding. There are two different types of donor semen. There is the anonymous donor semen and the open donor semen. Anonymous donor semen means that neither you nor the child can get any additional information about the donor at a later point of time. If you choose an open donor, the child can get additional information after its 18th birthday when it contacts the sperm bank and it can also have a single contact with the donor. Both anonymous and open donor semen comes with either a basic profile or an extended profile. The basic profile means that you only have knowledge about the colors of the eyes and the hair, the height and the weight of the donor. At the sperm bank you can get additional information about the donor semen at the sperm bank's homepage. For example, special interests or you can see a baby photo of the donor. But still this information is anonymous. When you come to the introductory interview here at the clinic, you have to sign this declaration about the donor semen. You have to sign whether you want anonymous or open donor, and you have to write down uh, the colors of the eye and the hair, the height and the weight of the donor. The laboratory needs this information to find a donor that is suitable for you. It is totally up to you whether you want an anonymous donor or an open donor. And it's also up to you whether you want a donor with a basic profile or the extended profile. You can also buy the donor semen directly at the sperm bank.